we are never going to revert to what obtained pre-COVID so far as the education system is concerned and the, the modalities of, of, of learning. For many of these students here at T.N. Kernan Primary School, this is the first chance they've had to see each other in months. Schools closed abruptly back in February as authorities grappled with rising infections attributed to the holiday season. With infections on the decline, Director of Education Claire Brown believes it is once again safe enough for face-to-face -face instruction. We got an opportunity to have our education. We want our children and young people to have the opportunity to. There's life after COVID. The challenges faced by students to access virtual learning, he says, underscore the need for the return to the physical classroom. Every time we shut the doors, then children end up in a remote learning uh, place. Some persons are somewhat excluded to the process. As it relates to the safety of the students, Director Brown says that matter has been mulled over meticulously. We would have spent a lot of time working with the union, working with the Ministry of Health in developing a protocol document before we threw our doors on September 7. Every month they come together, they look at the protocol document, see how things are working and make adjustments as they see fit. At least one student and a teacher, he says, previously tested positive for the virus. I want to make the distinction, I want to make it very clear that that did not happen because of any spread within our schools. Meanwhile, the education director is imploring everyone to get vaccinated. Herd immunity, he says, should remain a priority. The actions that we take will determine whether schools will keep their doors open and the young children of the nation will continue to re receive an education. Rakib Aparicio reporting for ABS News.